had yesterday. Beginning in Philadelphia. When it's the Boston Celtics looking to get the 3-1 lead in Philadelphia, not trying to go down 3-1. They're trying to go back to Boston 2-2, two, two, and as we already know, the Philadelphia Celtics took it in overtime, 116-115. You see a lot of boxes going around here because well, number one and off the bat, James Harden, 42. 16 for 23 from the field, 6 for 9 from 3 with 8 boards and 9 assists. James Harden gave you another 40-point game in the same series. All right, James. This is what I want to see here. I like it. You know, you, you hit 16 shots on 23 attempts. You shot 50, you shot 69 and a half percent from the field. That's, that just that's just crazy. That is crazy to think about. I mean, you did your thing. Joel Embiid, 34 and 13 for the MVP. Not, not too shabby whatsoever. But that's why I gave the Philadelphia Simpsons the credit for it. Because my takeaway is not the fact that James Harden did go for 42, but I do enjoy the fact that he did it. Game one, he went for 45, and his sisters got away. He went for 42 yesterday, and his sisters got away. He's, he was aggressive yesterday. He was he 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 was he was on this game. He was in his bag. <laughs> Round of applause for James Harden because he put up another good, great performance, another star performance. James Harden. That's what we've been waiting for. That's what we've been wanting to see for a very long time. Consistency with it, okay? This, this is what we ask. We ask for cons consistency, okay? My issue is the goddamn Boston Celtics. Jason Tatum had two points at halftime. He finished with 24. Nine for 20 from the field, because you started 0 from 8 to begin the goddamn game before you went one for nine and hit that only jump shot that you hit before the goddamn half. Now, you gave me 18 rebounds, and you gave me six assists. So you will find another way to get involved in the game. So I do. Jalen Brown, 23 points, 10 for 16 from the field, 3 from 8 from 3. Now, those of you who have not been paying attention to the Boston Celtics will look at that stat line and will be like, hey, man, Jay Brown played good. You know, did this thing. Jason telling me we need more. We need more than from now for Tony, which is true, because they're telling me you need to stop being a being a doll right now. You you, know, you supposed to be you supposed to be the next Kobe, but somehow the next Kobe is out there in Phoenix, which I'll get to him after I get dealt with y'all. But you supposed to be the next Kobe. You, you you do tributes and all that stuff to Kobe, which is good, nice and all, and uh, you know, but you ain't looking like Kobe. That's that. It's the guy that went penis. Though. The two stars of this team are Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum. I have a problem with both of you. I have a problem with both of y'all. First, let me start with Jalen Brown. Why is Marcus Smart shooting damn near the same amount of shots that you are? Why is Marcus Smart taking 15 shots and you taking 16? Okay. That's question one. Why is Marcus Smart taking 15 shots to your 16? That's one. Question two. Why does Marcus Smart then have the same amount of points as you do, Jalen Brown? Because let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me. Let me say this here on this show right here, right now. And there's going to be a lot of people. There's going to be some Celtics fans looking at me crazy. There's going to be some people that think they know basketball. They're going to look at me crazy. Jason Tatum might be the face of the Celtics, but he ain't the blessed player on the Celtics. That happened to be Jalen Brown, okay? Because when Jalen Brown is popping, the Celtics are popping. Jalen Brown only took three shots in the fourth quarter in overtime. That is a whole 17 minutes. And in 17 minutes, you only take three shots in the round. Three? Three shots. Three. That's it. That's all you're taking in the 17 minutes with the game on the line. Three shots. That is a problem. That is a freaking huge problem I have, okay? Now, I'm going to come back to you, Jalen Brown, because I ain't done with you yet. Jason Tate. I just said you're the first of the franchise. Why is the first of the franchise going nine for 20 in a game? 
Why is the friends of the franchise not taking the key shot that need to be taken? Now I can move on. That's the yeah, I ain't I don't care about that. I just put it on here so y'all can see real quick. I'll let y'all look at it real quick. You see the shooting the sentence. Boston says such a shot a better seventh than the Philadelphia says it's just they both even on three point shots. You feel free throws about even plus three for the Celtics. It ain't, like all that's pretty much even. Okay. Joe Mazzou. I gotta get to you because before I get back to your two starting get to you real quick. In the fourth quarter, you had two timeouts. You didn't call now one timeout. Game goes in overtime. I'm gonna get back to how that regular that regulation ended because I have a problem with that. Joe And overtime. Philadelphia goes up three. He goes up one. You have two timeouts. You still didn't use none of them. And yet, I still don't like how to find a play went. So um, and I'm gonna say this again. I said this last. I said this last week on the show. I said it on Snowman in the morning. I'm gonna say it again. The Boston Celtics is hired within the organization, meaning everybody that was on EMA staff is still there. Joe Mazzulla, you was on the staff of EMA Udoku. So where's the freaking defense of the Boston Celtics? You had to take a timeout to somehow remind them, hey. We can play defense. And that's when Al Horford decided to lock up Joel and beat the MVP. That's when Jalen Brown, Jason Taylor, Marcus Smart started to ramp it up intensely on defense. Why it took so freaking damn long to do so? Instead of you being up 3 1, you had, you had, you had 2 2 going back to Boston, which is a problem now because the best two out of three. And if James Harden can go for 40 again, you might lose that. Now that I got the coach out of the way. Um, yeah. I would do it's supposed to be, it should be three pitches on here, but I'm gonna do it and make two. The one on top is the one that Marcus Smart was the one who had the ball in his hand, but the game on the line in game one. Who won that game? Oh, that's right. The field upset is because that guy right there who's hitting him in the head. Right now, James Harden, he went for 45 in that game. Oh, and by the way, the MVP, which is Joel Embiid, was not playing in that game. That's game one. On the bottom is game three. It was two plays yesterday. As you can see here, you see the red square that is lighted up on the shot clock right there. That means time is up. You see who has the ball right now? That is Marcus Smart. And who's in front of him? Oh, that is James Harden, who, by the way, went for 42 on yesterday. And yet again... Philly wins. And I did say three, right? Because in regulation, guess who had the ball in regulation to try to win the game? Marcus Smart! You are 0 for 3 with the game on the line against the Philadelphia 76ers, and yet we still putting the ball in Marcus Smart's hand. Jason Tatum ain't taking a shot. Jalen Brown ain't taking a shot. What the fuck are we doing, Boston? What the Y'all redoing Zalen Brown's they say they ain't having the ball in the end with the game on the line. What are we doing here? Now I know some of you out there be like, hey, but he made the shot. It was a correct play. It's a correct basketball play. And all this shot. Ain't that the same thing that we was coming to Brown down in Miami because he was making the correct basketball play, but he wouldn't take the game winning shot. We're gonna do the same thing with Jason Taylor and Jalen Brown. If you're going to do it to one play, we're going to do it all. If you're going to call LeBron James the greatest and the second greatest or the superstar and be calling Jason Taylor and Jalen Brown superstar caliber players, damn it, they're going to get the same damn treatment. Game one on the line, how in the hell the ball is in Marcus Smart's hand? Game four on the line, why the hell is Marcus Smart taking the last shot in regulation and in overtime? When you have two superstars on the same damn team. By the way, like I said earlier, Jalen Brown, you took three shots in 17 minutes, which is the fourth quarter. No, you took a total of three damn shots. That don't cut it. Jason Taylor, you had the ball. You had to miss my Listen to Brian Warren Horse this morning on Get Up in First Take. 
They got the match that they wanted. Tyrese Maxey on Jason Tatum. And what did Jason Tatum do? He drives to the hole and passes out because Joel B is coming. This is why the series is tied 2-2 and not 3-1. This is why the series is 2-2 and not a 4-0 sweep. Because the Celtics should have won game one. And they should have won yesterday. And you beat the Dolls out them in games two and three. So theoretically, theoretically, this series should be over. But it's not. Because we 2-2 going back to Boston. Now the best two out of three. And Joel B has yet to really dominate the game. He has to stack, but he really has to put that imprint on the series. James Hunt has done it twice already in two W's with it. And then speaking of James Harden. Jalen freaking Brown. Tell that one down with you. Like Brian Wine here has said on first take, basketball one on one tells you you don't leave James Harden open in the corner for a three. What did you do? You left James Harden open in the corner for a three because you tried to double the MVP. And yet, instead of you letting Joel B go to work and tie the game up, no, you gave them, you gave him an extra pass to James Harden to take the damn lead. That's how they got the 116. And that's how James Harden got 42. If you'd have let Joel B get 36 and kept James Harden at 39, me we'll be having a different discussion here. But no, you didn't let James Harden go for 42. Ain't seen y'all asses home with a 2-2 series. God damn you, Jalen Brown. Jeez, man. And the funny thing is, the fact that I have James Harden and Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown all in the same photo is apropos. Because the guy who's shooting the ball with the number one in the blue jersey is the one who won the game. And the two dodos in the white jerseys are the one who didn't take a damn shot to win the game. Great. Terrific. Wonderful. Boston, y'all better get it. Y'all better smack these boys like I did in games two and three. And then when you get back to Philly in games two, you better end it. Because this series should be over, in my opinion. I am full in believing that this series should have been over in four. And then that gets me to the guy who actually who has this plan like Kobe. We go from Philadelphia to the desert. From the city of brotherly love to the hot streets of Phoenix, Arizona. In a game where you can see that Nikhila Jokic had 53 points, 11 assists, and was 20 for 30 from the field, the Denver Nuggets lost the game 129 to 124. Because the crazy thing is, with Kevin Durant playing 44 minutes and Devin Booker playing 40 minutes, these guys was on a different level. 36 points each. Durant went for 11 boards to Devin Booker 6, but Devin Booker went for 12 assists to De Kevin Durant 6. <laughs> Kevin Durant said, hey, I will take care I will take care of the rebounding. Devin Booker said, I will take care of the facilitating. And it worked. And by the way, the Phoenix Suns been scored 40 yard points in last night's game. The Phoenix Suns Showed up at home against three and four. The reason, the reason why we're at two two here because they didn't show up in Denver. They showed up in Phoenix. Jamar Murray had twenty eight. Don't and Michael Porter Jr. He he's not having a great series. Eleven and ten. I, I appreciate the ten rebounds, but Michael, I need I need eighteen. I need eighteen to twenty from you. Aaron Gordon gave me eleven and six rebounds. Aaron Gordon, I need 15. I need 15 from you. I just literally gave, that's literally 10 points I just added that I need from Aaron Gordon and Michael Porter Jr. Uh, that's a win for Denver. That's literally a win. That's a 3 1 series. Despite the fact Joe, Jokic had 53 points, y'all lost the game with the Joker scoring 53. Do y'all realize what y'all have done, Denver? Y'all yeah, have let a team who do not have a starting point guard get back in this series. Chris Paul did not play game three and four, and he's not going to play game five. 
but yet it is a 2-2 series. I don't understand it. I, just, I don't. But here we are. Plus 18 from the three-point-minute Suns. Plus 18. That is telling right there. Outside the bench, being plus 18 from three is telling because you the Devil Nuggets was plus was plus eight in field goals. Phoenix was plus 18 in threes. That's like plus 10 on the Phoenix side. That's telling right there. That is telling. 2-2 two, two, going back to the Mount High City. What can I say? I and mean, by the way, Devin Booker is the next Kobe. And I see what they call him the light skin mambo. Now, this has been, been in the headlines. And uh, Mike Isabel, who got into it with the Oak, as you see, Mike, the owner of the Phoenix Suns is right here. Uh, I love what he tweeted. Great win for the Suns last night in an amazing series so far. That should be and is the only story. Suspending or finding anyone over last night's incident would not be right. I have a lot of respect for Jokic and don't want to see anything like that. It's on to game five. Go Suns. Matt Ishmael, good job, sir. I'll take it back to you. Good job. Because it happened. Nevertheless, the NBA better not suspend the killer Yokis for anything. They better not even find. I don't care. He got a technical foul. Let it be. And let's move on to the Maha City. 